Hello friends, in this session we will see how to find out factors of a quadratic polynomial easily. In a specific scenario, when we have product of a and c is negative and b is a very small number, also the roots are rational or b square minus 4ac is a perfect square. Let's take a simple example. Let's take 3x square minus 2x minus 225. Now we have we know that we have to split the middle term. We have to divide this into two terms so that we can factorize it easily. Now in that case we know the sum is b is equal to minus 2 and the product of those two terms let us say n1 and n2 we are only talking about the quotient part how it is divided x will remain the same product is a into c that is equals to 3 into minus 225 that is equal to minus 675 now for this scenario where the product of a and c is negative and b is a small number how to find out the factors easily first we have to identify n1 and n2 for that we can do this what we have to do is take the product without the sign 675 now that number comes between which two squares rounded that means 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 so you whatever the number we are taking it will be coming between 0 square to 10 square are 10 square to 20 square 20 square to 30 square like that we will continue now 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 675 comes between this so what we will do now we will take the middle value of 20 and 30 that is 25 now try to write down numbers after 25 and also the numbers before 25 or you can simply write down 20 to 30 all the numbers I'm okay with that if the B is very small then you will get your answer next to 25 only left and right or both left or both right but if the B value is slowly increasing then we have to consider maybe 20 to 30 all of them so look at what is our unit digit of the product unit digit of product is 5 now what numbers when you multiply out of this we know out of this we have two numbers which will satisfy this now which two numbers will give you both of the condition to be satisfied the difference is equal to 2 because some negative 2 means difference is 2 and the product should be 675 or it should end up with 5 so let's understand which two numbers you multiply unit digits so that you will get again unit digit 5 so can I say unit digit 1 into unit digit 5 will give me 5 unit digit 3 into unit digit 5 will give me 5 next 7 into 5 will give me 5 then 9 into 5 also will give me 5 so looking here it should be 23 25 21 25 27 25 or 29 25 but we also have a condition that the difference is 2 that means we can rule out where the difference is not 2 so this is ruled out this is ruled out left out are only 2 so our answer the numbers what we are searching from for are either 23 into 25 or 25 into 27 now you can check them you will understand that the numbers are 25 and 27 because when we multiply them we get 675 and also the difference between them is 2 so once we are done with that now we, we once we know the numbers after that it's the same we can just go ahead and factorize it we found out that the numbers are 25 and 27 so I'll write down 3x square minus 27x because sum is negative big number should be pos negative minus 27x plus 25x minus 225 now we know after this what to do it's just generally what always we do 3x into x minus 9 taking the factors plus 25 into x minus 9 so that is equals to 3x plus 25 into x minus 9 let's do one more problem 
Let's take one more example. Let us take 4x square plus 3x minus 517. Now what is our b? Minus 3. What's the product of a and c? That is 4 into minus 517 that is minus 2068. Again the criteria satisfied b is a small number and the product of a and c is negative. So let us see now between which two squares 2068 will come. 40 square is 1600, 50 square is 2500. So we have to go to the middle number now 45. Then try numbers 45, 3 on this side and 3 on this side. If needed we will extend on both the sides or we can take 40 to 50 all of them. Now what are the options we have? to get unit digit 8 and also the difference of 3. Now unit digit 8 will come whenever you multiply unit digit 1 with unit digit 8 or 2 with 4 or 3 with 6 or 4 with 7. Now what is the difference we want to have? Difference we want to have is 3. So we can rule out this, we can rule out this, only these two are available. So either it is 43 into 46 or 44 into 47. So we look at both the options. We can see that 47 into 44 is the right answer which will give us 2068. So after that we can continue. We can say 4x square. Big number is negative. So I have to write down minus 47x or can I write down plus 44x minus 47x minus 517. We can take common 4x into x plus 11 minus 47 into x plus 11. So that makes it 4x minus 47 into x plus 11. So that is how we can easily find out the factors when b is a small number and product of a and c is negative. What we have to do? We have to go to the product, try to find out between which two squares it is there, multiples of 10, 40 square and 50 square. So write down all the numbers from 40 to 50. What is the combination which will give you sum of difference of 3 and the unit digit as 8? only 1 8 2 4 3 6 4 7 but we need to get difference as 3 so we can rule out 2 remaining 2 we can just multiply them and we can check which one satisfy so that is one small trick which will help you whenever you have a complicated quadratic polynomials so this just i thought on my own and i have shared this with you so if it makes sense please let me know in comments thank you for your time and support bye for now